this. Let's talk about Oculus Miracle. For the second consecutive Oculus Miracle stream. We're gonna be doing Oculus Miracle. Okay, okay. Oculus Miracle might be the best level ever. I don't know, this level just looks really good. I'm hosted by Gaden Hurtin. Gaden Hurtin. Gaden Hurtin. Hey you, it me, and I've got a video for you. What if I told you guys that we had a sequel of that in the works as soon as a few months after the initial release in 2020? It used pretty much the official sequel to Exit This Earth's Atmosphere. It used an amazing theme that we spent months and months working on. It continued the idea of getting the absolute best layout creators and decorators. And of course, it had some very attractive hosts. <laughs> Oh, what am I talking about? And I know what you guys are thinking. You know, sequels are extremely oversaturated in the community right now, and you're probably quite glad that it didn't end up coming to fruition. But we put a lot of work into something that didn't end up getting released, and I thought it would go to waste. But now that I can talk to you guys through this kind of medium, I thought it would be nice to bring you through it. So, you know, at the very least, we can look at this video and see what could have been. So, Ocular Miracle, what was it really? At its core, I think it was more about the concept really than the execution, and so for Oculus Rift we wanted to fix that. Ocular Miracle's objective was to get the best of the best on all fronts. So we got the best layout creators, the best decorators, but you know they can only really shine with proper execution. And I think that's what Ocular Miracle was missing at the end of the day, because its theme was just space. Um, Oculus Rift was our best attempt at trying to expand the story of Ocular Miracle and redeeming the idea. Since, you know, let's be honest, Ocular Miracle wasn't really that phenomenal of a level aside from the concept. And I'm sorry if that offends any of you guys who are like diehard Ocular Miracle level level that. Die Hard Ocular Miracle level. Jesus Christ, that is a mouthful. And I'm sorry to offend any of you guys who are like die hard OM lovers, but that's just kind of a fact. First off, with the song, we use the official sequel of Exit the Service Atmosphere, which is Beyond the Geostationary Orbit level by Camellia. Which, you know, doesn't come to too much of a surprise. I'm sure many of you saw that one coming if you know Camellia. And, you know, going into the theming, Back with Ocular Miracle, it didn't really go that far with it, so we really wanted to do some justice to this idea and this concept. If we were going to get the best layout creators and the best decorators, we need to get an amazing story to get behind it. And I took that super personally. There's an entire story that I wanted you to go through that will be cut up into three sections. The first section is going to be based on an alien planet. It's going to be a lot of forestry, plants, grass, rocks, everything that you guys can think of in the most insane way possible. Here are some of the reference pictures that I had for that. And then that would go into the second section that would be more based off in the sky. We're talking clouds, we're talking planes, we're talking whatever this is. And to round it out, we're going back to the roots of Ocular Miracle and making it space. So as you guys can tell, the main theme or the main story of this is that you're on an alien planet and you're venturing out into space, going and exploring the geostationary orbit level. Is that what that's called? I don't know. Geostationary orbit? The geo beyond, beyond the geostationary orbit level. Yeah. <laughs> and it was gonna be really fun um i put a lot of effort into this as you guys can see i even have descriptions of exactly what i wanted each part to look like next to the layout creator and the decorator but then that begs the question you know what went wrong and i think that kind of boils down to a couple things so a lot of you guys know who know me i am not a very good host um, not to say that I don't try, it's just that I don't have very much experience, and it's, it's not really in me. That's why you don't see me making any of my layouts into Mega Collabs, because I don't know how to motivate people to want to build. And, I mean, I, I guess that's fine, but I think it comes down to another thing, and that's that, you know, this level, with all of its detail, was way out of my comfort level and way out of my experience level, and so I was kind of out of my depth with this. As you can see with the roster, I think I killed it, and to this day, I think that this is a very solid roster that would have represented very well. But the issue is with that is this roster right here is all that I had. I couldn't go to another person if someone were to drop because this was all that I had. 
So what ended up happening was people weren't building and so I had to stretch out my resources and things didn't really work out. Of course, there are some finished parts, like I'll throw them up on screen right now. There's about, there were about four or five finished parts, I believe, but four or five finished parts out of 13 is, isn't a full level. You know, since the very beginning, I really just want to do cool things for the community. And so this was one of those things. I feel like Ocular Miracle kind of fell flat where we wanted it to hit because by the time it came out, standards had risen drastically and the decorators just couldn't keep up because it was just taking so long. You see, it came out in like mid 2020 and my part, my first part was built in 2018. I had grown so much as a creator and so much as a person in those two years. So I wanted to redeem what this project was at its core. That's really all I want to do while I'm here is just do cool shit so that you guys can get excited and want to be a part of this community and get excited about being a part of the community. And that's why things like Lotus came out. That's why Ping came out because it's just cool shit that I think you guys would get excited for. And this is no different. And you know, there's always been a side of me that kind of misses the fact that it's never got finished. It, it was a cool idea and I spent a lot of time working on it, but I think that this was a good lesson for me to know that, you know, I have to build up to these kinds of things and you can't just run before you walk, you know? So, you know, let me know. Um, I, I highly doubt that this would ever actually come to fruition, but you know, if this is something that sounds kind of exciting to you guys, then maybe down the road, I'll try to organize something similar with the theming and the ideas and, and all, everything like that, so. And when talking about this level, please don't forget that Daphla did as much work with this project as I did. This was not just my project, it was a co-effort. Co-effort? It was a co-effort. A co... It was a cooperative effort between both of us. And I don't want him to get underappreciated for this because he spent the hours and the months and the weeks talking back and forth with me and everyone else in the level to try to get this made. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please drop a like and please subscribe. Also, let me know if you'd like this kind of video. I don't know exactly what kind of content I want to make yet, so my videos thus far have been pretty all over the place and I'd really appreciate the feedback. And since this video was supposed to get up on Friday, I'm going to be trying to make two videos this week to make up for it. We'll see. I, I am in college and finals are coming up soon, so I, I'm really trying to juggle things the best that I can while working on Geometry Dash projects to have you guys excited. So I hope you guys have a good day. I, I really do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.